So as you can see, definitely some good talent in free agency. Uh, Hamus, Bodker, Erickson, a few good snipers who I'd pick up if we didn't have Orchak. Um, Yandel, Russell, Demers, Erhoff, McGinn, Matthias, Brewer, Bieska, Santorelli. Uh, we got Cullen down here. He might be an option. Uh, Havlat, that's interesting. Um, Torres, maybe. Who else? Um, not looking like anyone else. But I was looking at defensemen with potential. And there was one guy who was interesting to me. And let me see who that was again. Yeah, this guy. David Schleckia. 19 years old. And he's a defensive defenseman. You know, not the tallest, not the biggest. But, you know, may as well give him a go. Three-year deal. Can't hurt. Offer him 800000 per year. And... That, uh, that was about it. You know, I wasn't going to sign anyone else. I'll take a look at everyone else. Just to, you know, maybe see any youngins. Nah. 19 years old. Given a uh, high 7th defenseman. Could work out, but... Yeah, see, there's not much else. Let's take a look at... Nine, yeah, nah. So it doesn't look like any other defenseman. I would have looked through goalies. Wasn't really anyone there, too. Uh, Cody Hawkson? Is that it? Huh. That's interesting. I'm not going to get him, though. Bodka? Not going to get him. Uh, I'm not going to sign anyone who is uh, already, like, you know, 20-something. I'm looking for a 20-year-old or, or younger guy. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. But, uh, doesn't look like there's anyone... A grinder, Lucas Sutter, um, Suter, however you pronounce it. I'm not going to get him. I don't like his stats too much, especially as a 20-year-old. 25-year-old grinder. He's only 69, though. Uh, anyone else? Grinder, 25, though. I'm looking for a grinder or an enforcer. Let's see if we can get any of them. Doesn't look like it at all. The grinder, yeah, 26 again. I'm not going to get him. He looks kind of fucked up, too. He looks like he's on drugs, but... Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like anyone really here that I'd want to pick up. Neither does it look like anyone who would fill out that top six. There's no one I see. The only guys that would fill out in terms of how good they are, Erickson and Bodker. We already have our talent in terms of playmaking and sniping. So let's check out our team again. There's not going to be many changes. You know, trying to keep it realistic. We got Mason and Neuvus. Mason, actually, they can definitely get it done in terms of overall in the game. We got Straight, Gostasphere, Gudis, Delzato, Schultz, and then either Prov, Orov, or Haig. Last I saw, Haig was the elite. Did that change? Or am I tripping? Maybe Prov and Orv. Provo of... Uh, what's his first name? I'm not saying that last name no more. Ivan. Looks like Ivan has more potential, but not as much trade value because it's not high, you know? Also a younger guy. So, we definitely got that situation sorted out. Let's go to forwards now. Um, in terms of centers, we got Juru, Couturier, and then really no one else. Uh, what is Bellmare? Is he a depth forward? or Yeah, he's a minor. He's an... So definitely lacking in terms of centers. We could put White there, though. Let's go to left wings. We got Lucic, Lawton, Reed, and Raffle. I... Yeah, Raffle and Reed are definitely going to go at the end of the contracts. I don't want a third line, fourth line sniper. Years left? Are you kidding me? We might have to... We might package them to a... Maybe a Tampa or somebody for Callahan. Maybe that could work out. That could be a nice trade. But we got Umberger. Who I'm gonna keep. Eh. Steep contract, but one year left. I'll definitely keep him. So... Let's look at right wingers. Voracek, Simmons. McDonald and White again. 
I can put white to Thenu. Let's check out Hoffman. Is he he's minor. He could play fourth line though, but definitely lacking in terms of forward this year. Let um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So yeah, let's I actually want to check that trade I just set out right now. Let's go to Tampa Bay. Now, I don't really want to go after Callahan necessarily because of his age. Um, but he could be a valuable asset to us for sure. Now, let's go to Callahan. How old is he? 31. He's actually not as old as I thought he was. Definitely a steep contract. Lucic is way better. We actually got him for a steal, in my opinion. But he wanted not that much money, which was odd. But what if we did do a read and raffle for Callahan? Because they are a goal-scoring team, you know. They could use that. Um, but someone I was thinking of even more was a guy I mentioned in episode 1 and 2. And that is Tom Wilson. Now... He has high potential, but his his morale isn't great. May, for whatever reason, he's not liking his situation in Washington. So, 22 years old. Two, so, two years left at under 2 mil. A great deal for him. Let's check out his stats. Discipline isn't good, but I really like him. Especially in real life, too. He's one of my favorites on the Capitals. Too bad we got knocked out in the second round, but, you know, I guess it wasn't our year. Again. After a bunch of years. I'm not going to go into that, though, but definitely helps them out on goal scoring, depth. Now, they want both of them. Who are they looking to give away now? Anybody who can potentially play fourth line minutes? Doesn't look like it. Um, so, let's just go to forward. Let's see, could we maybe pick up Chimera in the deal too? Do they still have him? Or did he oh, did he retire maybe? That would have been sad. What about Lada? What, what player type is he in this game? He's a grinder too. But he's 25. Um, what if we did... What if we did a ladder for Reed? What if we did that? Reed for ladder? Maybe? Um, definitely, I don't think we're going to get Wilson for these two. I don't think so. I'd love to have him, though, for sure. You know, he's a great player, um... That would also free up cap space. And I'm actually going to... I'm Before we make that trade, I'm going to check out the free agents. And I'm going to see if Chimera is there. Uh, let's go forward. I hope he is. I would love to pick him up. I love uh, Chimera. He's really good. Damn it. Did he really retire? He did. That's too bad. Gudis? What about Gudis and Colin? Let's check those out. They could be a really nasty pair of, of centers. Awesome defense and physical. Senses, I'm surprised his discipline is that bad, but we can we could definitely get him. And then we could also get where is he? Was he this high up? Cullen. We could also get Cullen. He's a depth forward. I'm not sure why. Um, we could also get him. Yeah, I think that's the move to go. So, if that's two spots late there. So, that would be our center core. Giroud, Couturier, Cullen, Gudis. If one of them gets injured, put, um, put White to center. Yeah. And then, okay, let, let's take a look at this. So, if we did that two-for-one deal, 
that would leave us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh yeah, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus 10, because the guy we're getting, I didn't count Reed or Raffle, so that's 10, plus Gudis and Colin, that gives us 12 forward, that could work out really nicely, so let's go Reed, Raffle, they just don't fit in on our team. They really don't. Now, both of Tampa and Washington are both in our division. Um, I want to check out Calgary. Bennett? Yeah, no. He's really high. Um, who else has a grinder that we could pick up? Maybe Andrew Shaw? Perhaps? Uh, 24? Only one year left, though. He's a grinder. Let's check out his stats. Um, definitely, again, a good centerman. Um, he's a, he, he, he plays a bit small, though. He is a grinder, but he's a bit small. Uh, who's that? I'm thinking of someone in my head. Um, Gallagher. Let's check out Gallagher, too. Again, another Eastern team, but we're, if we're trading bottom six player, that's okay. Gallagher, he's 86 overall. Two-way forward. Five years left at under four million. That could be a really nice deal for us. Look at that. And if, if we're trying to make this a realistic GM mode, this trade actually is pretty realistic in terms of what each team is getting. You know, they had that awful collapse. They're bringing in two scores because they had such a hard time scoring this year. Um, do we try and make this trade? Now I'm going to remove him. Let's put him back because I love Gallagher. Uh, he played for the Vancouver Giants, my favorite team in the WHL. Uh, huge Giants fan. Watched a ton of their games uh, as a kid. Love him. He's awesome. Again, he's a small player too, 5'9", but a really goody player, a two-way forward. Now, let's see, so how would our top six look then? We'd have, in terms of player types, on the first line we would have a playmaker, sniper, two-way forward. And on the second line we'd have a two-way forward, power forward, two-way forward. Do we really want another two-way forward? I mean, it is three of them in the top six. We could go for a grinder, but then again, if we're going to get Cullen and Gudis in free agency, there's our two grinders for the bottom six, right? Along with all... Yeah, because we got Lawton as a two-way forward, McDonald two-way, a white two-way. Yeah, no. I think Gallagher isn't the move. What an awesome contract, though, for sure. For sure an awesome contract. But do we... Or do we go for another power forward? Maybe that's the move, because we got a ton of two-way forwards already. We got two two-way forwards and a power forward in the top six. What if we got another power forward? Hmm. Who? I'm going to do a little bit of scouting here. Look around the league. And I'm going to come back with, hopefully... An option and a direction of in of in terms of who I'm gonna trade for. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for the Gallagher one. I know <laughs> I I kept on going back and forth. It's just his contract which really pulled me towards him. Um, and again, I can make a storyline out of this, you know, from what went on this year. So I'm gonna try Gallagher for both Matt uh, Matt Reed and actually they both have M. What are the names? So, Mit Mitchell Raffle and Matt Reed. So, two snipers for the two-way forward who would fill out our top six very nicely. And he is the second line, right? Second line forward, yep. Um, senses is amazing. Defense amazing. Physical amazing. Everything. Everything. He's an all-round player. I love it. So, okay. So, yeah. So, they like Matt Reed. 
that's good. Now, I am going to still offer them Raffle, but uh, who else would they want? Do they want a goalie by any chance? They want Neuvuth. Huh. We might be able to work with that. Anyone else we can trade them? Maybe Strite? What if we give him Gustafin as well? That that might be interesting. Um, or, or do we give him Manning? Yeah, I'd say Manning, honestly. In, ter in terms of what they would want, I think they'd want Manning. Although, Gustafson is an offensive defenseman. What type is um, Manning? Two-way? Yeah, the Gustafson is a more of a scoring guy. So I'll give him that. I'll give him Gustafson. Now let's let's offer the deal now. Yeah, they like Lee. They don't want Raffle though. Um. What if I? See, I don't want to overdo it now. What draft picks do we have? We have two thirds again. So. What if I give up our third? Now, who do they have in terms of goalies? Do they have anyone they would give back for Neuvus? Nah, just, uh, I like Fukali, but I'm not going to trade for him. Who do they have as a backup right now? Condon. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give them a third round pick. You're telling me Raffle, Reed, Gustafson, and third for Gallagher? That's a good deal if you ask me. Still rejected. Wow. So they like Reed. Um, do I take off Raffle, maybe? I'm gonna try and continue this. Hopefully I can make this trade go 